subscribe to learn cap and hit the bell icon to get notified hi welcome my dear students uh, now we are doing transportation problem uh, in transportation problem we have different methods the first method is northwest corner rule method which we already discussed the first method is northwest corner rule method and through the northwest corner rule method you will be able to find out the initial solution or the basic feasible solution and if the question is asking in the exam find the basic feasible solution or initial solution you can use northwest corner rule method or you can use lowest cost entry method or you can use vogel's approximation method if they are specifically asking the method you have to do under this method only and you, you can't use uh, lowest cost entry method if they are asking to do question in lowest cost entry method you are supposed to do through lowest cost entry method now uh, what the first method we are going to learn is northwest corner rule method and i am discussing the first question and it's a real question I am going to explain the concept of transportation problem with a realistic example. This is a real business example. Now, this is the question. Okay, uh, need line exporters. You can write down this question and along with me. You can write down this question along with me. And this is a, a small kind of practical example. It's like a case study and it's not a complicated one. It's a real practical example. And with the help of this pre real practical example, you will get a clear cut idea what exactly a transportation problem and where it is used you will get a clear cut idea now uh, this is a story of a famous businessman and he is from malapuram he is a textile owner his name is muhammad baba and the name of his firm is Nearline exporters they are providing even garments to our indian army so this is a very good exporting team now, Nearline Exporters is a Tirudangadi based textile firm. It's a town in Kerala. It's a historical town. It has a lot of story about the freedom fight of India. It's a small town, but has to tell a big story about the freedom fight of India. So, Nearline Exporters is a Tirudangadi based textile firm. The firm is exporting. The firm is exporting textile items to Dubai, New York, and Manama City. Needline Exporters is a Tirurangadi based textile firm. The firm is exporting textile items to Dubai, New York and Manama City from his factories located at Madura. So Mr. Mohammed Baba is the managing director of Needline Exporters. He is having a factory at Madura. One of his factories at Madura that is in Tamil Nadu. And he is having another factory in Ahmedabad that is in Gujarat and he is having a factory in Shivagashi and he is having a factory in Chennai. So in four locations he is having factory actually is a very good businessman and he is having factories across the country. Now uh, for the time being for the sake of doing this question he is having four factories okay. So, Nearline Exporters is a Tirudangadi based textile firm. The firm is exporting textile items to Dubai. So, one of the destination is Dubai. The other destination is in New York, that is in United States. And the third one is in Manama City, that is in Bahrain. So, to three different cities, he is exporting to three different destinations. He is exporting textile items from his factories. So, one of the factories at Madura, one of the factories at Ahmedabad, and the other factories are in Shivagashi and Chennai, respectively. Now let's see what happened in the question. Okay, he got an order of, he got a requirement of 7,000, 9,000, 18,000. He got a requirement of 7,000, 9,000 and 18,000 units from units. He got a requirement of 7,000, 9,000, 18,000 units, units or it may be kilograms or oh, what about be the measurement these are the units so, so he got a requirement that is the uh, demand demand from the dubai new york and manama city so he got a requirement of 7000 9000 and 18000 from dubai new york and manama city respectively so this is the requirement that means these are the demand for his products so dubai people needs 7000 units and New York people requires 9,000 units and the people in Bahrain, that is in Manama city, they require 18,000 units respectively. Now, the quantity available at Madura, the quantity available at Madura, Ahmedabad, Shivagashi, the quantity available at Madura, Ahmedabad, Shivagashi and Chennai are 
the quantity available at madura ahmedabad shivagashi and chennai are 5000 8000 7000 and 14000 respectively the quantity available at madura ahmedabad shivagashi and chennai are 5000 units 8000 units 7000 units and 14000 units so uh, my dear friends he got a requirement of 7000 from dubai 9000 for new york and 18000 from manama city now take your calculator you just add what is 7000 plus 9000 plus 18000 the total requirement that is the total demand is total demand is 34000 and the availability availability at madura which is 5000 availability at uh, ahmedabad is 8000 and shivagashi it is 7000 and in chennai it is 14000 this is also 14000 5 plus 8 plus 7 plus 14 this is also 34000 okay practically this will not happen this is something called uh, the total demand and the total supply are equal and this is something called a balanced transportation problem in the real business world your total demand will be 50000 your total supply will be 30000 you are capable to supply only 30000 and sometimes you are your production is 60000 but there is not enough demand and you are short of demand and you are getting orders for 40000 remaining 20000 units will not be sold in the factory that is what happening in the real world of business but for the time being the first kind of questions which we are learning in the transportation problem are balanced transportation problem so all the questions which we are learning in the initial stage were the total demand and total supply will be equal and all the questions are minimization questions once we learned the northwest corner rule once we learned the lowest cost entry method once we learned the vogel's approximation method and become an expert in modified distribution method as well then i will teach you how to do an unbalanced transportation transportation problem where the total demand is 50,000 but the total supply is 60,000, 10,000 units is more or sometimes the total requirement is 60,000 but the so total supply available is only 30,000. So we are not able to serve 30,000 units. If this is the scenario could happen in business that we will learn at a later stage. For the time being, every question is balanced transportation problem. So this is 34,000 and this is 34,000. Okay. Now, the per unit cost of transportation, right on, the per unit cost of transportation from different origin to destination, the per unit cost of transportation from different origin, different origin means one of our origin, one of our factories Madura, other factories in Ahmedabad, other factories in Shivagashi and other factories in Chennai. So one of our, some of our factories, this is origin, that is our origin. And the destinations are Dubai, New York and Manama city. So the per unit cost of transportation from different origin to destinations are given in the table below, which I will show you in the next slide. And now the question is, uh, now as a cost and management accountant student, you are supposed to find out the basic feasible solution. So write on find basic feasible solution find a basic feasible solution to the transportation problem find a basic feasible solution to the transportation problem through northwest corner rule method find a basic feasible solution to the transportation problem through northwest corner rule method this is the question they, uh, this is the question and we are supposed to find out the basic feasible solution through northwest corner rule method and i didn't show you the tables of transportation and i will explain what is the meaning and the question will be done in the next next video but i will explain what is the meaning now look at here these are our, our factories our factory one of the factories in madura other factories in ahmedabad other factory the third factory is in shivagashi and the fourth factory is in chennai now one of our destination is dubai the second destination is new york and this is the third destination is at manama now this is our transportation cost is 274 and 331 and this is 547 and the next is 162 these are our transportation costs now what is the meaning of these four okay 
If you want to transport one unit of item from Shivagashi to New York, the per unit cost of transporting one item from Shivagashi to New York City, it is 4 rupees. It is 4 dollar, 4 rupees, whatever be the uh, unit, it is 4 rupees. And what is the meaning from Ahmedabad to Manama, it is 1 rupee per unit of cost of transportation. And from Shivagashi to Manama, it is 7 rupee. And this 3 means from Ahmedabad to Dubai, it costs is three per unit to transport that is the meaning of the that is the meaning of this table okay now uh, we have been given the supply what are the supply available at madura what are the supply available at ahmedabad what are the supply available at shivagashi and chennai and what is their requirement at the dubai manama and new york okay the dubai people have a demand of 7000 units and new york people is having a demand of 9000 and manama they require 18000 units and in madura we have 5000 units of supply and 7,000 units of supply in Shivagashi, 8,000 units of supply, and it is 14,000 units are available in Chennai. So, whenever a transportation problem is given, the first thing which we have to look whether the total demand and supply are equal. That is the first thing we have to look into the transportation problem. And here it is 34,000 and 34,000. The total demand is 34,000. Total supply is 34,000. And the second thing, once the demand and supply are equal, it's called the balanced transportation problem. Once you are sure that it is a balanced transportation problem, the second thing which you have to look into the whether it is a minimization is a cost minimization question or the profit maximization question now this is a question on transporting and this is definitely a cost related to question and all the questions which you are learning in the initial stage are cost related suppose if it is a profit related question if you transport one item to dubai you will get a profit of rupees three Okay, this is something called the maximization transportation problem that we will learn once you become an expert, once you learn the, all the four methods, Northwest Corner Rule method, Vogel's approximation method, modified distribution and uh, the lowest cost entry method, you will learn in that. And I will do this question in the coming video and you can learn how to do this question and it's very interesting. Thank you all. Subscribe to LearnCap and hit the bell icon to get notified.